Hello, my name is Sandra, and sometimes here in the workroom, we need ties for our projects. And yes, they can be kind of frustrating and time consuming to turn them right side out. But I'm going to show you some of the methods that I use. thing you're going to need is a piece of fabric cut the length and the width of your tie and then you're going to take the tie and you're going to fold it in half and take it to the sewing machine and you're going to stitch down the long end and across across the bottom and here I already have one tie cut and sewn this way I've left one end open on this particular tie and the other end I have stitched the bottom and then I've taken my scissors and you can see here I've just snipped this corner edge off just to trim down that seam allowance but I did not cut through my stitching line. Now the first tool that I'm going to use and I call it a tool, but really all it is is a piece of PVC piping. And this is about a three quarter inch. And then I have a dowel from the hardware store. And this dowel is a, a quarter inch dowel. And I've just cut it down to probably about 16 inches. Now the first thing you're going to do is take this piece of pipe and you're going to insert it into the opened end. I'm just going to slide it right through and then here's the other end that is sewn and you're just going to take the dowel and you're just going to poke it gently in there. Now watch and you can see as I'm pushing it that that fabric is just gliding right over and then I'm going to take my hand and you'll see the fabric come out the other end. Now you can continue to push that and pull the PVC piping out. Now what's great about this is that the dowel is still on the inside and you can take that dowel and you can gently push into those corners to get those corners to come nice and, and flat for you and then you just pull that dowel out and there you go you have your turned tie. Now another tool that comes in really handy is this Dritz quick turn tool and you can purchase this in a kit and it comes in different sizes. Here there's a 3 8 inch and it, this acts, it's, they look like straws, but it acts like the PVC piping. And then this one here is a 3 16 and this one here happens to be a half of an inch. And in this kit you also get this little metal uh, rod. You can hardly see it here, but I'll put it right there. You can see the metal rod that you can use to put down into here. And this would be for a really small tie, almost a spaghetti strap, if you will. Okay. But if you, mostly if you turn larger ties, you can just use a piece of PVC piping and it out. If not, you want to purchase the drits. But let's look at this tie. Now this tie happens to have um, two open ends. All you have to do is take the size two that will fit in there and this one happens to be a half inch and load it down the top, push it in, then take the fabric at the end and just kind of roll it over and roll it over again and then you can take one of the other tubes and just push it down in there. And again, the same way we did the PVC, we just keep pushing it and sliding it and sliding it. Push that all the way through. It's kind of tight in there. And push it all the way through to the end. And you can pull it out. And again, you still have that in there. And you can poke it and then take it and take it out. And that's one with two open ends. This tie here has two ends that have been stitched and we and it's stitched down the long side and leaving the center 
open. So all we have to do is to take our tube and put it to the inside and take our other, I keep wanting to call them straws, and push it through. like this and you can pull it out and use this to poke the ends pull it out then take the tube and insert it into the other side and repeat Again, using that turner to poke out your corners. See how easy that is? Now, you may not have the quick turn tool or the PVC and dowel um, tools at your disposal. So let me show you how you can use a good old fashioned safety pin to turn a tie. And here I have a tie that has two open ends. And I'm going to take my safety pin and I'm going to put it right through one layer and out the top of the fabric. And I'm going to close it up. And then I'm just going to take the pin and almost do like a nose dive down into the center of the tube. And then you just have to push it, push the pin down in, and then start to push the fabric back over that end. Now this could be the most challenging part to get it started, but once you do it's great. Now this tube happens to be a little bit larger, but if you're trying to turn a smaller tube, you will probably want to go along, or smaller tie I should say, you probably want to go along where your seam is and just trim it down a little bit, but make sure you don't trim through the stitching. And then just it down because what will happen is the seam allowance will go into the inside and just kind of fill it up and sometimes it can give you troubles. All right so I'm going to keep pushing this down and I'm going to stop after a couple pushes and push it off the end. If you allow too much fabric to bunch up at this end that where it's turning um, it can be a little bit more difficult to turn. So just keep pulling pulling right off the end here. Keep pushing that pin right through just like this. And then you can grab that pin out this way and pull that off. And there you go. You now have a tie that has been turned right side out. I hope you have found this helpful and I look forward to seeing you next time here in my studio.